Hello everyone, Hazards here. I'm here to give you a nice little tip that you can do with your Elgato Game Capture HD. Uh, those of you who want to record PC gameplay, you can actually do this with the capture card. It's not just designed for consoles, and I'm going to show you how in this little video. So right now, you can see my Xbox One footage. Uh, it's looking good, the capture card works, it's doing what it's meant to be done. But we're, uh, we're going to break the rules a little bit here with this uh, capture card. Now, this isn't a scam. Look, I can actually move around my controller, see? It's not a picture, don't worry, this is an actual video. I promise you. This will not break your computer or capture card or anything. It's completely safe, it's really easy, and it's, uh, it's not all that time consuming either. I mean, it literally takes about a minute. Now we'll see once we move our little cable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug the HDMI lead from my Xbox One, which means the picture will probably go off, I'm not too sure. Never done this while recording. And it looks like it's staying uh, okay for now. So what you do is you move your HDMI lead from your Xbox One into your HDMI port on your computer or laptop or wherever you have. Uh, make sure your computer does have a HDMI lead or adapter cable, which you can actually plug in, which you should be fine if you can. And then you should have a USB and a HDMI lead together. And once that happens, it should display your desktop like it will do mine very soon, I'm hoping. This is pre-recorded. Last time I uh, tried to do it, it didn't work. And there you go, presto. There's my little Titanfall desktop looking there. Uh, the reason you don't see any of my icons on my desktop is because this is actually portraying a second monitor. So any games that you can play in windowed, it'll be perfect for. Uh, I'm not sure, there's probably some ways you can make your primary monitor if you tweak around. I just found this recently, and it is a very cool little thing that you can do. So if you want to record some PC gameplay, you can do that. Don't be afraid. And I don't think it uses too much of your computer either, so... Knock yourselves out. Go have some fun. And there's some proof that it does actually work. I'm moving my capture recorder software there, as well as my Audacity, which will move very soon. Here it comes. Give it a sec. There it is. It, it currently stops, so that's why I'm pre-recording uh, this now. But uh, guys, I hope this helped you out, and hope you can record some epic PC gameplay in the near future. This has been Hazard. Guys, have a great day. Bye!